I'm Chris, and today we're going to fix a leaky shower faucet. Let's do this real quick. One of the very first things you want to do is simply shut the hot and cold water valves off. It's also a good idea to go ahead and plug your drain. Use caution when removing the little cover. You don't want to mar up the surface of your faucet at all. Simply remove the screw and the faucet handle itself, and then you can go ahead and remove the sleeve. Now this is one of the reasons why we plug the drain, so that we don't lose the screw and we don't lose the clip that we have to take off next. Go ahead and use the plastic tool that was provided with your new cartridge. You want to kind of rotate it clockwise and counterclockwise a little bit just to kind of break everything up in there because most likely the cartridge itself is really frozen inside there and that's one of the reasons it's causing you problems. You should be able to easily remove the cartridge with a pair of pliers. Now aside from using a brand new cartridge, you might be able to utilize your old cartridge and really just clean it up and replace the o-rings with an o-ring kit. This could significantly save you some money, and it's not too difficult to do. Whichever method you prefer, grab your new cartridge or grab your refurbished one and go ahead and apply a lot of faucet lube to it so that everything's nice and lubed up when you insert it back in place so that you really get a nice smooth operation out of it. Now I'm not going to be shy when I'm applying faucet lube. I want to make sure I get enough on there, especially on every single o-ring. I really want to coat them well to prevent any sticking that might occur over time. And I kind of even want to get some of that faucet lube down in the inner workings of the cartridge itself. I really don't want anything to stick over time. Once you feel like you've applied enough lube, go ahead and insert the cartridge back into the faucet. Use that white plastic tool again to go ahead and line everything up so that you can insert the clip from the top down. And you want to make sure the clip really holds tight on the top and the bottom. You'll know when you have it in just right. Don't forget to reinsert that sleeve and then go ahead and place the faucet handle back on and screw everything back together nice and tight. Check to make sure that the operation is nice and smooth. It's time now to go ahead and turn your water back on. Don't forget to turn the hot and the cold valves back on. And you want to go ahead and test your faucet out. You want to turn it to the hot side and really wait to see if everything warms up and make sure everything's getting nice and hot. Now if for some reason it's not getting hot on the hot side but it's actually getting hot on the cold side, don't worry, it's a simple fix. And then simply go ahead and take the faucet handle back off and then what you want to do is go ahead and rotate the faucet insert 180 degrees. Reinstall the sleeve and the faucet handle one last time making sure you really tighten everything up. And then you want to go ahead and test everything one more time just to make sure you have everything correct. Congratulations to a job well done. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful in fixing your leaky shower faucet, please leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much.